Greetings, everybody. Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to Android Sanctuary, which originally streamed live on Twitch. Episode 11, Ritual Mountain. Hmm. Steel tiles in the research room? Uh, yeah, I, I could do steel tiles in the research room. That would speed me up. The problem is I would require vents to keep it cold, to be bug proof. But I, I, I can do that. I, uh, I see, I see the, um, the advantage. Ace, thanks for the sub, by the way. I'll try with two vents for now. Ooh, compacted machinery. Well, of course, it's compacted machinery. I queued that up. You've been falling asleep to me for years. I get that a lot, so I know not to be offended. I'm not that boring. Yeah, I think I am going to do a little bit of a wiggle sneaky trap here. Oh, uh, maybe it should go. No, th this will work. All right, there he is. Just something snaky to get to it. And then what I could do is I can have a second door, which is shorter. It's just, I don't think this is going to be usable space ever for me. So I'm going to dig a, a little bit of um, a path that sucks for pursuers to, f to try to run after me. Ooh, looks like I have an abundance of rice. That's good. All right, so three it is. Oh, area revealed, it was boring. Yep. Yeah, leave one door open so that they prioritize the one that with an open door and then leave the other door closed. What another thing that I could do is I could put a uh a bait bed in here to bait sappers into a non-critical, um, a non-critical room. And that way it encourages sappers to not attack the sensitive bits of my base. Oh, Panda needs paint. You, sir, look a little bit rusted. I love the concept of rust. I think it's brilliant. Uh, Gray, could you briefly just construct? Oh, God, no. Um, not like that. Oh, it's a home zone? Okay, uh, let's try this again. And... This is for... my rusted friend. If I had sterile tiles, obviously sterile tiles would be even better. Who wanted to be my crafter? Uh, Panda, you did, but uh, you can't operate on yourself, so I'll operate on you. Or Grey will. And I'll... Wait, what are you doing now? I don't know what that second operation was. Okay. All right, so now it's a clean room with uh, 20 cleanliness, which offsets some of the research speed factor from being um, cold, because that's one of the things that I can't help. Well, if we want to risk the infestation, I could warm it up in there. What do you guys think? Should I keep a warmer research room? Yes or no? If I was smart, I would have built the research room into the farm, because the risk of having a warm research room wouldn't matter if it was built into the farm. It's not too late to do that, I suppose, but I don't know. That it that just gets weird. All right, you said it, it looks like No's going to win. And Psychic Soothe. Yeah, that's not helpful. Hey, look, Sneaky Path. Yeah. 
And I can, uh, if anyone's just tuning in, yeah, ignore all this random plans. You don't need to know about that. All right, I'm going to take down this pole because, yeah, you, you guys don't want a, a warm room. We're fast enough with our clean lab. I almost have tier three, or yeah, I almost have the, uh, not tier threes. I almost have advanced fab researched. Uh, so those component are those chunks there need to get hauled out. I'm going to put chunks here so that we can make room for the barricades. And then let's do This will be the core. And then I will probably have a door to mine out some of the steel. And I'm going to I'm going to flatten off this um this part of the steel here. So let me ignore uh, remove the plan so I can actually see. So there's a long path. It's not quite the snaky maze. I mean, it's a bit of a snaky maze where uh if I have fuel accelerants, if I have like a fire flame ID and things that can set fire here, we could definitely trap people in here. But then I have the um, the very short way to get in, which is the way we're going to use. No, I actually liked it curved. That way it breaks a line of sight. Maybe some more bro broken line of sight here. I'm going to have it snake a little bit more. Like one out. So that we can use it as a defensive room. Because I could always put turrets in it. You know, to, uh, to welcome intruders. In lovely fashion. Okay. It's a very strange shaped room, but it's just how the mountain crumbles. Pet Yoda. Oh, oh, Yoda's naked. Dude, what happened to your jacket? He's also kind of invisible. What's going on? Are you like Casper the Friendly Yoda? <laughs> uh, what is that? Let me adjust my chroma key. Got a little weird there. Hi, buddy. You now exist. You can have daddy to thank. So here we go. Advanced fab is just about done. And then I'll get advanced components rolling off the line and get us some T3s for our wounded friends. So advanced components do until we have, let's say, 11. Fire this fabricator on. And get that going. Uh, something else that would obviously help out is tool cabinets. So we have plenty of steel. Let's throw two of them together. And that will help offset the cold temperatures here. So if you take a look, um, work speed factor, but a gain. A small gain, but still a gain. And then our light level is good. I believe the light level in this entire room is is appropriate now. <laughs> yeah, y'all just been a, uh, a VTuber this whole time. I have you duped. He ain't a real boy. He's not a real boy that eats real carrots. This is just very fancy VTubing. Hey, buddy. My favorite VTuber. Oh, look at the, look at the, uh, the fancy models there. I paid top dollar for this. He doesn't go see a vet. He sees a V-tube engineer. Since this fence is aesthetic and we seem to be tripping over it, I'm just going to remove parts of it. Yeah, he knows the word Garrett. He ain't no dummy. Um, no. Don't actually dig there. I lied. So, because of the requirements 
for entry. I'm going to have the alternative entrance here because it should be nested and that last door wasn't nested if we did it here. So let me smooth this out because it's damaged. Because this would have been, I would have had to put a door here and that's, well, I don't know, it's kind of nested. Yeah, no, it's nested because all I do is it's, um, it's in this little alcove thing. So I'll put it here or here and then it that's definitely nested. I'm just like arguing with my own rules. But hey, that's that's what it is to be a rad. All right. This still needs to get smooth though. So if I put the door that opens and closes here, I think I'm going to actually chance it to be plasteel. Nah. <sighs> Yeah, I'm going to make it plasteel, because um, regular steel is flammable, and that's not going to be good for a fire break. Yeah, you, you enjoy watching me debate myself? Well, I think it actually helps um, for me to provide some of the like inner monologue or dialogue, or both, so that you can kind of understand where I'm coming from. That way, even if you disagree with me, you'll see that I like grappled with the decision at least a little bit. And then this will be the core. And we can put the, the the rest back. It's gonna be nice, it's all marble. Although what I might end up doing because we can afford it is for it to become um, like fine marble floors, like really trick this thing out. Oh, hello, compacted machinery. You've learned a lot about uh, game mechanics through that, yeah. For me, for me to just um, to verbal verbalize the like thought process of strategy, but that's no different than you know if you're watching like professional sports, you have this the sportscasters theorize the strategy for the upcoming play or something like that. That's very common. So, we are up to three advanced components from zero. <laughs> Back to Yoda. Vomsil, by the way, thank you for the follow. And Mr. Jaren, thanks for the reset. The new areas for the ritual room. Yeah, I should update the priority there. Um, build some blink T3s and build a ritual room. So, the priority is above in the top right corner, if your device allows you to read it easily. Man, the wool on these Fidos are so slow. I mean, I get it. Oh, we need to animal handle it. That's probably why. Oh, man. it's I've probably been able to shear it the whole time. I feel stupid. I feel so stupid. Oh, so stupid. And then I also have to make sure that these don't go wild because they're technically animals. Well, uh, sort of. I don't know. They're technically animals, but they're kind of robotic. If only there was an animal handler. I know, I just kept getting betrayed. Continually betrayed, but maybe we'll make one soon. That's the hope. Oh yes, rice. Give me the rice. Nightbot, what is your smithing at? Five? Advanced components are what, eight? Yeah, so Nightbot can't help. I will find a way for Panda for you to craft um, once once you're in a better body and you can learn faster, uh, trying to train you as a crafter right now is not that helpful. Also, another thing is, should I exploit the skills server before upgrading bodies? Yes or no? Now, 
the skill server will require me to get some research, and then also uh, it is a lot of power that it draws. But it's a way for me to add passions or skills to Techie Panda and Nightbot cheaper now than when they're in a tier three body, because tier three bodies are going to be a little bit more expensive. Ooh, space chunks. Got my attention. This is a weird shape, I know. Uh, the other thing I could do is I could... Eh, I'm not going to bother with a torch lamp. Irish Commissar. Cheers, dude. Androids would be the most optimal? Yeah. I'm not allowed to use tier 1 androids. Hey, thanks for the gifted subs, too. I can cheers that. All right, so you guys think I should exploit the skill server, uh, which means I need to get researching again. Gray, take some structure gel. No, 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 no. Go to the research bench. A tier two will work, yeah, to exploit this. So while I work on the, uh, on the ritual room, let me update the priority. Build a ritual room and exploit skills. And I'll show you how this works once I, once I get some skills. Now I'm, I'm gonna smooth out the walls, but not the floor, uh, because the floor makes it harder for them to move around. So it's good that the floor sucks. But I'm keeping the walls, I'm um, smoothing out the walls so that we can repair them. So that if there's damage, um, cause smooth marble walls are a little bit tougher than, uh, block walls or, uh, chunk walls. All right. And confirm. All right. I'll try to do this as fast as I can. Are you sure this shouldn't be warm? I feel like it should be warm. But I'll leave it. Should I combine the research room and farm? That would speed research up a little bit. Have you vote on that? Should I do away with it bothering with this? And combine the two rooms uh, where I put... Uh, I would put my research room here-ish in this spot and keep it at, at uh, farm temperature. Or just have it be this cold little cubby. Either way. Choice is yours. Neck and neck, I know. I know. How's my chem fuel? That's actually okay for once. I think we're getting ahead. I think Techie has been leveling up at plants and failing less often. And as a result, uh, we are getting more rice for our buck. I'm also going to add in some more lights here so that our fail chance uh, lowers even further. Because some of these um, spots are in the dark. And if we got them lit, we wouldn't fail. If it is a coin flip at the end of this poll, I, I do have a um, a lovely coin that I flip every now and then, which is the, uh, the Skyrim coin. The, like, praise be Akatosh and all the divines coin. I wish there was a, a better way to show you. Maybe on Yoda's cam. No, you know what? It, you can't see it. Well, there it is. The praise be Akatosh and all the nine divines. Or all the divines. 
Very nice, yeah. It's my decision maker. It's it's a pretty heavy coin, as you can see. It's uh, it's big. I don't have a banana for scale, but I don't know. I'm a roughly normal sized human, so um, uh, yeah, it's roughly normal sized human for scale. <laughs> it's like the dumbest thing I've said today, <clears throat> but it makes sense to me. Uh, I actually want jade walls in this thing. I'm not gonna put um. I'm going to smooth the walls, but then I'm going to, where I'm digging it out, I want to put jade instead. Because we have a jade node up here that I will, I will adorn my lovely ritual room with it. Another thing that I might want to do is I might want to super freeze the, um, the ritual room because, you know, I don't want bugs in there. Or maybe I do want bugs in there. Actually, it's a really good bait bug. If I have like a fire maze, yeah. Let's bait the insects in there. Forget it. No, no chimney. Forget about that chimney. All right. So no, I should not combine it. All right. I'm just trying to think of ways to like speed up research. And you guys are like, no, don't speed up research. Slow and steady wins. You're right. It does win the race. But only when you're against bunnies. So here is series server one, which are inefficient. I'm going to go for series server three, I think. The, the top, or should I stop at two? Uh, what level server should I stop at? One, two, three. If you want me to stop now. So the, the difference is the higher level servers are more efficient and can contain more skills and build up skills. And then the lower level servers are noisier and less efficient. But they're just like easier to get to the research level for. And again, I'm fine at either way. So the issue is, if this is going to be a bug bait room, I... I'm not sure about the jade anymore. I don't think that that's a good idea. Because jade walls are... Uh, not the toughest. Uh, we also could dig to something else here, so I'm gonna um, I'm gonna leave this open to be mined in the future, so that we can expand if we so choose. Oh, uh, yeah, I should not have dug that. I might be a genius tier four architect, but not genius enough. So, stockpile here is going to be marble. Marble blocks. I'm going to make fine floors in here. Lovely fine floors. There is also... Blah, the glittering building. Yeah, I can't make buildings. There is a spot for... Ooh, that's tempting. Spot for solar? The problem is I would have a, I would, you know what, if I don't dig here, I don't have an edge violation. Yeah, I'm gonna put solar there. Yep, 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 yep. So... There's a bit of a, a close shave quarter there, but corner there, but it's fine. And that way the new base will have a source of power and I can throw a battery in there. Okay, finished poll. We're going to go up to level three. I also have enough for another shirt. I like uh, making button-down shirts because button-down shirts cover the sort of sensitive organs, or in this case, sensitive parts of the body that you don't want robots to lose. And a transport crash from a thrall. You are in a thrall. You are, however, um, animal feed. Hey, Panda, you're passing by. 
Here, before we pass by... Clean this rock rubble. He defected from humans, or she. Who wore the shirt? I think Techie just tossed it on. Nope. Nightbot? Nightbot. This is this is gonna be so strange. I like it. All right, animals, feast upon the human, and avoid the peg leg. I don't want to take splinters out of your mouth. <laughs> oh, <laughs> butt maniac already bit the head off. <laughs> Tasty. immediately going for it oh the one problem with the solar panel here is uh yeah all right so it's going to terminate the building meaning because i don't want to climb over solar panels so if i do want to use the rest of the space i'm going to start a new room which i think is fine what's the difference between a t-shirt and a button-down shirt um the collar shirt has better protection sleeves yeah uh so let me show you the uh the t-shirt here has a Torso, left shoulder, right shoulder, a default sharp of 7.2. Let's just look at the sharp because it's the easiest to remember. 7.2. And then this only costs 40 ingredients. The butt down shirt costs 45, but it has, um, it covers, it has better coverage. So it covers neck. And for reference, neck is one of the most vulnerable parts of a, um, of a character's body in RimWorld. Your neck and head are very vulnerable because they're not easily covered. Um, so neck, shoulders, arms, the, the, the cloth button down shirt goes to the wrist and it go pops the collar and goes above the neck. So it's, uh, protections are, pr are pretty much the same, but it's coverages are so significantly better that it doesn't make sense to wear t-shirts unless you want to be like one of Henry VIII's wives. History buff zing. I don't know. Um. All right, uh, so this is going to look real ugly because I think I'm going to wall this off. So this is our core building. It looks real dumb. Do uh, do I have an exposed solar... EXPO. Solar panel and battery in the core room. Do you think I, I should build this wall or not? Essentially, is that, I guess, what I'm asking. This wall here. Do we just have an exposed core? Um, or exposed solar generator or not. It's a big enough room that it's going to satisfy the needs, I think. Because it only, it doesn't, it doesn't really have a size requirement. It has an impressiveness requirement. And, and that looks plenty big. I can also expand it just a little bit here, too. And here as well. I, I don't really need to do that way, though. Shaka supplies. Nope. Didn't get that neuroformer. Hello, guys. Ooh, look, it's a independent tier three. That's rare to see. He's not being remote controlled from the Android Collective. He's uh, he is his own person, which is pretty unusual. So Gray is about halfway done with the level two servers, and uh, the the issue, the other issue that I hadn't really thought of is these servers are not cheap objects. So let me show you. So here's a skill server which costs steel, silver, and or steel, gold, and and components, and the higher level servers are even more expensive. So uh, that might be a bottleneck. We'll actually have to figure that out once I get the level three servers because I forget what they cost. I don't have that memorized. Uh-oh. You guys are hungry again, aren't you? Man, they ate that body fast.
It mentions all androids on the SkyMine network. Uh, Skyro, what do you mean? Like, as the mod does? Because I don't really care what the mod says. Um, <laughs> I make my own lore. Look at that. We are now have so much stuff, it's overflowing. Temporary workers. I don't... Uh, okay. I mean, uh, I could pull for this. Should I lend temporary workers? <clears throat> so if we... um, Alright, this is going to look real weird. So if this is going to be exposed, I think what I want to do is put a battery here. Conduit. Fill this in with um, blocks. So Gray, I'm going to have you come out here real quick and build this. Because if you're... If we illuminate it, it's going to be faster to build. And then he'll go back to research. So the temporary workers quest is advanced components, uranium, glitter world, or goodwill. Glitter world, of course, is not something that we need typically as robots. Oh, you're stargazing. That's cute. But get back to work. So this just uh, allows me to keep the lights on in here. Just a little battery. And this should be home zone, so we actually repair it. A little battery, and um, that's about it. Right, let me clear out the old home zones for spots. Uh, I can turn this into, a, into an entry for a room at some point. So Gray, you are back to recharge and research. I guess we did end up mining that uh, jade. I'm not sure I'm going to use it. Yet. And then let's hunt around for... Leftover... Leftover home zone sites. I would even say it's easier to mark the locations... Of valuable resources with home zones. Because it just stands out. Oh, there's still uranium here. Hot damn. Alright, looks like you guys say no to the temporary workers. Yeah, it's... It's losing one person for nine days for very little benefit. So it's like... Not great. So Gray is about two-thirds, maybe three-fourths the way to the next research level. Uh, we finally have a pretty healthy amount of rice and... Cam fuel, which is... Rare. We have not been sitting on a stockpile for a bit. And our batteries are nearly topped up. The ritual maze is uh is ready for some some progress love. Oh. You're going to have Gray make a little bit of progress here. Before I put him back in the uh, the research gulag. Bye, Gray. No, oh, come back. So now we have a techist light, and we're about to have walls around the solar panel, because that's what you all voted on. And then I'll let him go back to research. Now, I don't 
nullify of a constructor. Maybe Panda is a constructor good enough that I would trust to put down fine tiles, but fine tiles are pretty expensive. They're 20 marble a piece, so it's not something you want to screw up. Uh, the reason why I'm not using Jade, though, is if this is going to be a bug bait, um, it we don't want precious Jade walls to be destroyed. And bugs aren't going to destroy the fine marble, so... I researched Gulag was actually called a Shiraga. <laughs> I didn't know that. Back to the Shiraga. Alright, Gray, back to research. And I'm also going to be required to research one other thing, which is the Skymine V1 antenna, uh, which will be a requirement to use the skill servers. I'll also, um, I'll be connected so infrequently or so briefly to the network that I'm not really worried about hacking. But that's another thing to be concerned, uh, considered of. I haven't really ever played, uh, DF, so... Questions about DF or things that have done. Uh, not likely to get a uh, an answer from me. Sorry. I have um, a lower tolerance than I'd like to admit for the super lo-fi. Maybe someday. All right, there's plasteel here that I'll start mining out. And gray. Yep, yeah, there we go. Get back to research. Okay, so we're getting a fair bit of chem fuel. One of the things I might want to do with the chem fuel is to store it somewhere less vulnerable to exploding. So I'm going to put it on this shelf here. I'll just make a quick shelf. And that way it's not sitting um, in my stockpile next to everything else that would be sad if it burned. Gray. Let's take some more structure gel. Help with the research speed. So I can store up to 300 chem fuel, but I'm only making until 200. So that's fine. And these chem gens are nice and full. So I could probably support more chem generators if I need it. But I'm, I'm satisfied with what I got now. For now. Uh, another thing is, alright, I do have the third inch trimming. I could make uh, more structure gel, but I'm going to have Gray just focus on research so that I can actually advance my progress clock, which is the ritual room and exploit skills, and I haven't really done either. But we are about to start the, um, the ritual room. The core. Because Panda's, um, once he finishes mining this plasteel, I will be using Panda to lay down the fine tiles in the room. And then once the room is fully fine tiled, I'll slap the core down and call that good. So this is the last, I think this is the last of the, unless we didn't hit the, no, we got the uranium. So I believe that's the last of the valuable resources on this map tile. Unless I've missed any. I quite possibly have missed some. So, next server. Clean it up so it doesn't look like I've been here. So the mysterious lack of viable 
mineable resources in the mountains aside. Another thing that I could do is, um, Panda, yeah, your construct is over clean, so you're not going to be the one responsible to clean this stuff anymore. So let's go around and make sure that we clean up after ourselves to hide our, our presence. And I think we've been doing a pretty good job of that because we've been on it this whole time. All right, now that Techie is lurking, let's get him killed. I'm joking. All right, so Panda is starting to work on the fine tiles. I think what I'll do is I'll lay out all the resources for it so I can get rid of the... Yeah, I think I can get rid of the stockpile now. Unless he fails. Yeah, uh, why did I even say that out loud? Um, back up marble. So I'm going to move most of it away and then keep one stockpile here. Just in case. Of. For reasons. Hopefully he'll be fine. Hide in my presence is uh, roleplay. Yeah. A hey, shuttle crash. Well, uh, I see pet food. Nightbot. Let's go make some pet food. The robot was tier one. We're not allowed to capture tier ones. If he was tier two, I would have captured him and converted him. What? Oh, you know what? I should have stripped them first. I don't know why I didn't think of that, but their clothing sucked anyway. Yeah, it really sucked. <laughs> Gauss sprout? All right. We could technically Gauss sprout. Uh, no, that'd be organic. We're not allowed. Well, I guess we could never bind to the tree. And have it just be beautiful? I don't know. It doesn't really make any sense. I'm not going to be doing it. Look at this. It's coming together. Slowly. Uh, Panda, it uh, might make sense for you to have structure gel too. So that you can craft faster. Get hopped up. Here, I'm going to force battery charge now so that you're fully charged and ready to go. Bugs don't care about the kind of room that they're in, but that's going to be my ritual room. It's not just a bait room, it's a multi-purpose room, so I care that it's nice. Because it um, for our rituals to be successful, it needs to have a... Um, it needs to have a... Impressiveness of at least 120 for most rituals. And fine floors just look awesome, so. Plus, I have all this marble. I've got so many marble blocks just laying here. Might as well use them for something productive. So we are... I should make some more structured gel. I'm going to have uh, Gray do that real quick. More drugs. Because I'm about to run out of structure gel. And then as soon as I'm out, I'll take a new dose. There is no... Um, uh, for the record, there's no... It's it's a safe drug. So if you take a look here, uh, it is always safe. There's no overdose chance. It's, it's You can't be addicted to it. But just to min-max usage, I'm going to only take it when it wears off. I could schedule it, though, but I don't think I'm wealthy enough to just start scheduling drugs willy-nilly because that gets to be pretty expensive pretty quickly. So I'll just do it. I'll use it when I'm doing something important. Look at our batteries. All right, I'm going to power down two of these chemis because we are uh, we're at max power. 
I should take the opportunity to add some additional batteries to have two separate networks, but I'm just gonna focus on the uh, the task at hand for now. Also, uh, my ranch, eat the dead bodies. No, cut that out. Eat the dead bodies. And let me move these zones so that they only have access to dead bodies. And they're not gonna eat Quincy the chef. Um, we'll break him down eventually. Thank you for tuning in to Android Sanctuary, which originally streamed live on Twitch February 12th. Android Sanctuary is the February miniseries marathon winner streamed live one time only February 12th. If you would like to know more about the process of the miniseries or all of the series that I put out, the How Series Are Chosen link on my website, radamont.com, will fill you in on the details. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. But please keep in mind that this series is over. It only streams live once, so suggestions cannot be incorporated. If you would like to join my gaming community, Rodamont.com or the description of this video also have a link to Discord. Thank you so very much for watching. A special thank you to all of my Twitch subscribers, Patreon patrons, and viewers like you that support the channel. I hope to catch you next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell, and stay safe out there, androids.